Hi everyone. Well, today is April 15th, which is usually tax day in the United States. Uh, but uh, with the situation we have, it has actually been extended here till July 15th. And um, also, if you're not in the United States, maybe this video won't really apply to you. But um, Either way, um, I do need to preface this with the fact that I am not a certified public accountant or any type of tax professional. So if you need any type of advice like that, definitely seek out a professional CPA accountant um, or financial planner. So anyway, I just wanted to give an, uh, more like an informational video on what I do as far as my tax write-offs. Um, and maybe that would be helpful to some other artists out there and especially artists who are self-employed like I am. So um, as a self-employed uh, artist in the United States and also working out of my home um, as a sole proprietorship, uh, it's fairly simple tax um, as a sole proprietor, it can be pretty simple to do your taxes on your own. Um, so I'll just go through some of the things that I do as write-offs, but I wanted to say, first of all, there's a difference between uh, tax credits and deductions. So a tax credit directly reduces your taxes and a deduction lowers your taxable income. So uh, that's the difference. So uh, that some of the things that I write off as an artist are, uh, first of all, my supplies and um, inventory type things. So um, any art supplies, any office supplies, um, any, so art supplies, obviously paints, canvases, and even um, equipment. So uh, things like uh, tools. I have a lot of power tools that are specifically for my art, like um, staple guns, um, like sanders, uh, canvas stretching, just all kinds of things. And then office equipment like printers, um, computers, uh, cameras, all that stuff. Um, so when you buy it that year um, and then there's also the depreciation sometimes for things like equipment that can be a write-off um, also um, travel expenses so if you use your car or train fares taxis anything like that um, for work uh, right now um, there's a, a per mile I think for 2019 it's 58 cents in the United States per mile you can write off for work-related travel. And then, of course, any kind of airfare or uh, sometimes I travel across the country for workshops and gallery shows, things like that. And so um, it would be even my hotel I could write off. So things like dinners, um, coffees, even if it's with a client or... Um, Work-related, you can write off um, up to 50% of that. And then um, anything having to do with furthering your education. So you can't necessarily write off your past. Like uh, if you were went to college for art, um, there might be a credit or something, though, that you could look into. But I'm talking about continuing education. So um, some educational, blah, 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 blah. if it's education related, even books, um, courses or workshops, just save your receipts because those are tax write offs, too. Um, you can't write off like just clothes like your every day clothes, but you could write off uniforms. So. For me, um, any kind of special shoes or gloves or protective gear, aprons, um, goggles, things like that, um, I can write off. Um, my daughter, who's a photographer and does um, a lot of work outside, um, writes off special boots that she, waterproof boots that she 
buys that she just uses for work. Um, so um, also, if you're working out of your home, you can write off utilities and um, like their, your internet, electric, phone, uh, things like that. Now, you won't probably be able to write off the entire amount, but a portion of it. And it's usually specific to the portion of the house or the percentage of the house that is. And this is another thing to keep in mind that uh, you should have a separate area for your work in your home if you're going to do this. Um, so you need to have a separate place that is your work area. And then that would be the part that you, portion that you could write off as far as um, your utilities, um, rent or mortgage payments, things like that. Um, so, and these are, again, deductions I'm talking about. So also you could write off um, like IRAs, retirement plans, things like that, that you are investing in. And... Um, I would also say as far as the separate workspace in the home, also um, it's good to have separate checking accounts, banking accounts, and, and debit or credit cards uh, separate from your person, your personal, separate from your business. Even if you're a sole proprietorship and it's just a doing business as, which it probably will be if you're doing, because um, otherwise you have to incorporate. Um, but if you're doing business as, you, there's like a... Um, a bunch of things you have to do, including like in a America, and it depends sometimes on the state, but getting a permit and even publishing in a local paper with your name, things like that, if it's a name different from your personal name. Uh, so there's a bunch of things that uh, you need to talk to your bankers and maybe um, other professionals about that. Um, so also, some things people don't think about are advertising, marketing, and bank fees can be written off. Also, um, like I said, the health insurance premiums, but that's actually usually the, a tax credit. And then um, if you are an older taxpayer or a high, really high income earner, uh, you could possibly set up pension plans or profit sharing plans to help offset some of the taxes that you would have to pay. So that's, again, something to uh, talk to a professional about. Anyway, these are just some of the things that I do. Um, another thing that um, I've done in the past, and again, you need to talk to a CPA about this, but um, especially if you're owing taxes, is you can um, file a tax extension for, and then it gives you another six months before you, you have to file, especially if you're owing taxes. And um, my accountant thought that it kept you from, you were less likely to be audited later in the year. So I don't know if that's true. But, um, and I don't want to, again, I'm not a professional. That's just hearsay. So, um, again, uh yeah, just some things to think about and some things that I do uh, for my art business. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you later. Oh, one more thing. If you're wondering about this picture, this is a, a gift I found. Uh, it's like over 20 years old uh, from my daughter's great grandparents. And it's actually a sticker on top of a real $2 bill.